December the 7th, 2021. After having a conflict with one of the National Park Police officers, they came and removed their cameras from the area of Sligo Mill Road. This shows you just how butt hurt they can get. This is where that camera was pointed and they came and moved it after one of their disrespectful officers with no professionalism stopped a car on New Hampshire Avenue. Now they just came down here, just came and removed the cameras. This is the tree that it was on and then they jumped back in their car like little cowards and took off so that I couldn't videotape them scurrying away from the area. But this is what happens when citizens start making them do their job and they need butt hurt cream to put on them. The same two officers who refused to get their names and badge numbers came and removed their cameras from the area. Unprofessionalism and they need to be stripped of their badge and patches because they're worthless. This is what happens when citizens start making them do their jobs. They just jumped in the car and ran back up Sligo Mill Road so that I couldn't videotape them taking the cameras down. Cowards, straight cowards. You can't do your job the right way then quit. We're at Sligo Mill Road again. And this is the road where all the trash was being dumped. And the detectives or plain clothes individuals who put the cameras up just came and removed the cameras because of an incident of me recording one of their officers unprofessionalism on New Hampshire Avenue on a traffic stop. Who are they hurting? Stay tuned because more videos will come of the dumping in this area if it happens and the derelict of duty of the National Park Police of Maryland. Again, good officers bad officers I guess they think that's gonna hurt me but well, stay tuned we got Tacoma Park still has their cameras to still up but the National Park undercover unit couldn't catch COVID if they wanted to they had the cameras here this is the tree and couldn't catch COVID if it was right up under. Stay tuned.